everybody out there. You're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan, and you're sitting in Connor's Corner. And sitting with me is a very talented actress. <laughs> Hello, Paula Rhodes. And thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, it's funny, we, we asked you on to talk about your princess character in the web series A Good Night's Quest, and it's funny because watching the series, I can automatically, you know, get in tune with your personality, because the princess <laughs> seems, she, she has that same very, uh, laugh and everything. <laughs> She's a bit quirky. Yeah, I, I really like her. Brett Register, the creator, um, writer, director, is fantastic about really letting you uh, explore a character and improv and bring a little fun to it. We don't, we have a pretty strict shooting schedule, so we don't get to improv quite as much as probably some of us would love, but, um, but we get, a, we get some fun moments in there. Now, how so. exactly did you find out about the project? Um, let's see, I have known Kathy Barron for, for a couple of years now, and she plays uh, Rain in the series. And her and I actually created a, uh, we're in the process of creating a horror web series last summer. Ooh. And she brought me, yeah, an hour, hey. Uh, we've both died a couple of ways in various films. <laughs> so we thought it would work out. And she started bringing me to a bunch of the tube filter meetups and various other networking events in LA. And it turns out the online community here is really pretty small and pretty amazing. Not, not terribly small, but it's not a billion people. Um, and it's, it's really welcoming and a great creative group of people. And so I met Brett Register there and we, we all kind of really clicked and hit it off and started hanging out and spending holidays together and had sort of like a little pseudo LA family out here. So it was, it's been a good year. So when they called me in December and were like, Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I was more than happy to, to head on over there and shoot a, the pilot for Escapist. Now, when you heard it was going to be a web series, were you a little bit antsy about that, or was that some new possibility? Oh, no, I think it's a fantastic time to be um, in, in the web, I suppose. Um, I definitely still pray to the residual gods for commercials and you know film and other more traditional types of media, but I love the web series world and the creativity it allows people right now, and, um, and working with a group of people that we get to pull together so that, I mean, for the most part, we're not at the stage yet where we get to choose uh, exactly who we work with outside of the web. So it's a wonderful opportunity to actually pick people we totally want to work with as opposed to just, hey, please hire me. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> please, yes. Uh, so that part's fantastic. It's been an absolute dream to work with this group of people. Awesome stuff. And you guys must have some really funny you know, bloopers and whatnot, because you're working with <laughs> <Yes>. very funny <laughs> contexts. <laughs> there have been that quite a number of really uh, humorous, yes, uh, bloopers, if you will. I think we could put together quite a nice little extras feature on the DVD where we to put one together. Um, yes, I would say Douglas Serene, who plays uh, Galen, our ogre character, and he also plays Ask a Ninja, um, the ninja, of course. A lot of people are familiar with that guy. Uh, so he is just a ball of awesome. He comes up with <laughs> with some lines that pretty much cause the entire crew to have to bite their hands as not to ruin the take. So uh, anybody that's in a scene with him should get an award just for being able to keep a straight face through a scene. Um, he's, yeah, definitely awesome people to work <laughs> with <laughs> and, and great bloopers. And now you're sort of the, you know, maiden that's supposed to get kidnapped and the stereotypical uh, ca character in a way, but do you think that uh, she'll sort of grow into her own and be a little bit less uh -huh. stereotypical? Yes, I would, I would put my money on that one. I'm also a producer on the series. Rick Ray and myself are the two producers there. And, uh, and I'm not a feminist per se, but I would definitely, I like female characters to have some strength and, and something surprising about them. So despite the fact that she is, Adriana is rather um, stereotypical in the beginning, princess coming in out of the video game world, uh, she, she's going to surprise you a little bit. But Brett and I definitely talked about that. Now, I have to ask, and this might seem like an awkward question, but how are you able to keep a straight face in those really hilarious makeout scenes? <laughs> ah, yes. There, um... <laughs> Let's see. Is it a trick of the trade, should I say? I don't know. Um, yes, Charlie Bowden has been known to crack quite a few of us up. In fact, 
he makes um, Craig Frank, who plays Dorian, laugh so much that um, we've definitely, definitely had to do quite a few extra takes on many of their scenes. But it also makes for some really fantastic footage when we get it all cut down. How do I keep a straight face? Well, luckily, my face is sort of covered by his mouth for the most part, so it doesn't have to be <laughs> terribly straight. Um, but no, I, I, I have great chemistry with Charlie, and we love working together. So um, that's all. It's all fun. It's completely just a dream come true to work with this group and, and be able to make each other laugh when we can. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you guys are having a lot of fun. And obviously, the plot relates with the video games and their stereotypes and whatnot. Are you a video game fan? Um, I do play a little bit. I'm not terribly good at it. I think that stems from the fact that my uh, parents never got us a gaming system. I think I had, like, an Atari when everybody else was on to, like, the second or third rounds of Nintendo. Um, <laughs> so I'm not, not the most skilled of gamers, but I do like um, RPGs where I get to play an elf. I think I really wanted to grow up and be an elf. Um, pretty Pretty sure. That's what I wanted to be. So I suppose being a, a video game princess on a web series uh, is, is pretty close. I think it'll count. Maybe she'll grow <laughs> ears in the future. Who knows? Here's hoping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I was just curious because it's funny. I can I can see all the possibilities for more game gamer sort of jokes in the show because the show, yes. as of now, is only at its fourth episode on the Escapist. True, there there will be some more. Um, like I I loved Legend of Neil and all the the fun that they have with uh, like Legend of Zelda and all the the inside jokes that they get to pull with that um, with that game. So we don't want to rip stuff off from them. <laughs> But we definitely have some really fun uh, fun little treats, I suppose, for the gamers, too. Oh, that's definitely understandable. <laughs> <laughs> and if it makes you feel better, I'm terrible at shooters, so. Here, here. I tell you, <laughs> I try to do any of the driving games or stuff with people or sports games, and it's just sort of pathetic. So I'll stick to my, I don't know, elf type of games. What? Yeah, I'm elf playing games. Final what Fantasy right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. RPGs, uh, yeah, I'll take that right now. <laughs> but uh, in in contrast, uh, I wanted to know, is there anybody you particularly like working with the most on the set? Oh, gosh. And I think it's just the, the chemistry of the entire group works out so well. I mean, we've uh, we've been friends for at least a year, some of us, you know, multiple years. And, and um, it's great to get all these people together. Like being a producer gives me a little bit of, of insight or being able to suggest people for casting. And so that's been really wonderful to bring in um, people from outside of my, my web family, if you will, um, like Brian Thomas Smith and Ben Kane um, are, are going to come in and make some, some appearances in this next episode. And I've known them from like Ben I met in New York years ago when he was doing a Broadway show and I met, Brian Thomas Smith out here, even though he's from Missouri as well. So, I mean, it was, it was really great to bring all these people from different spheres, or my spheres, I guess, into one production and see how they all mesh so wonderfully. And now, is it kind of hard to get everybody together since it's in just one place, but it's on the internet for everybody to watch? Um, oh, it's for shooting days, you mean? Try to coordinate schedules? Yes. It, it can be tricky, definitely. Um I think it helps that they know the quality <laughs> that we're going to produce. But um, that's between Rick Ray and I, we have pretty good uh, managerial skills, I suppose. <laughs> we're pretty good at pulling off uh, all the organizing side of that. We've, we've had a few days where we've had to schedule around people. But for the most part, um, all of us fun employed actors who are, you know, super happy to get that call to work. Um, are pretty easy to convince to come play for a while. Oh yeah, definitely. And I actually didn't know you were the producer in the project. Could you tell us a little bit about what it is you do specifically with that? Um, sure. Um, as with most indie productions, um, like not studio productions, uh, the producers wear a lot of hats. So for the most part, we just do whatever needs doing. <laughs> whatever needs to be get done. To get done. Um, I've joked with Rick about the fact that we've kind of fallen into these like 1950s sort of thing where I do a lot of the responsibilities that would stereotypically be sort of feminine. I'm like, you know what? I'll handle food. I got this. I'll get a location for us, like a roof over our heads. I'll handle wardrobe. Um, very girly things, but it just seems to be what I'm really great at. And he's great at technical stuff, handling contracts. Um, so, so we kind of really complement each other in that our strengths are in different areas. They overlap a bit too, but um, 
it's great to work with Rick and, and Brett, who also, you know, is super involved with everything. He's a very hands-on creator. He's an amazing director. Um, so I guess I've done everything from, you know, pick up lunch to um, secure a location to shoot at to handle making sure everybody got their, their SAG information for the union. Um, really, whatever needs doing. Making sure our sword's on set. I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of feel your pain because the staff has now started to call me mommy. So <laughs> yes, I definitely become a bit of a set mom, I think. But uh, I love it. I like I like seeing my baby grow, I suppose. And you can kind of oversee everything and, you know, make sure everything's in place and, and watch, you know, it grow into a great web series. Yeah, it's definitely something I'm really proud of. Um, a lot of that is, is thanks to our crew, who's amazing. Everyone from our, our sound guys, our DP, our AC. It's a small group, but they're they're so talented and wear so many different hats and keep us moving so quickly that we're actually able to do this and bring the production quality that we are able to bring. Awesome stuff. Well, sounds like fun, and we're going to take a short break. So for everybody listening out okay. there, uh, you're tuned in to, what, your favorite station? Come on. 91.8 hey. The Fan, everything you want, nothing you don't. And we'll get back to the interview as soon as we get back. So stay 918thefan.com. Have you logged on today? Who, me? No. Um, no? I stock daily news show, video reviews, articles, forms, in an anime directory. Don't get left behind. Log in today. Only on 918thefan.com. 918thefan.com. Alright, 918thefan.com. Hey everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan, and you're sitting in Kana's corner. Still have my special guest sitting in the corner. We haven't gone cleaning or something, doing no. other jobs. Still here. <laughs> and actually, we were talking behind the scenes about your upcoming projects. Yeah, we were. I have a, I have a pretty good year ahead. I'm pretty excited. I've got a um, my first lead in a feature film. will be out later this Yay. year. Congrats. Festivals, I know. Yay! It was super fun. It's called uh, Shuffle. And I star opposite the very charming T.J. Thine from Bones. If you guys are Bones fans, you'll know him as Jack. Um, and it's it's a really great story with a lot of heart by a director, writer, Kurt Kenny, who did um, a really big uh, documentary last year, or I guess two years ago, um, called Dear Zachary. That was great. Um, so it is the story of a guy who, for reasons he doesn't understand, keeps waking up um, each day at a different age. So some days he'll wake up and be eight. So the next day he'll be 28, and then he'll be 92, and he just keeps flip-flopping all over the place, and it's it's scaring him to death. And he slowly starts to put together that he's known me his whole life, my character Grace, and at some point we're married, and then he realizes later on that I am dead, apparently, oh, at no. some point. So he tries to, he thinks that he's going through all this stuff to uh, to try to save me. So it's a really, it's a great film, a lot of heart, really touching, well-written and I can't wait to see it. I'm very, very excited for that to come out. That sounds like a tearjerker. I think, it, yeah, there probably will be a, a couple drops from the eyes before warned. Oh, <laughs> I, I got to put that on my watch list. I'm not a big movie watcher, I'll be honest, but uh, that sounds like that'd be something you'd pull your boyfriend or somebody and just be like, <laughs> okay. It's good. It's good. It'll be touching, but it's also, I mean, there's there's funny parts. I mean, it's um, it's pretty well-rounded. I'm excited for that one to come out. And I've got a short film called Think The Think Tank. Um, and it is, let's see, I star opposite uh, Matthew Reese from uh, Brothers and Sisters. And it's pretty fantastic, too. Um, so I guess that'll be making festival rounds or whatnot. So, gosh, I guess I need to get, like, some, some cool clothes or dresses or something to wear to these things in the near future. You'll be uh, on the red carpet. <laughs> seriously. Um, but very excited for that and continued episodes of A Good Night's Quest. A um, couple other series we've got in the works. And... La 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 la. I don't know. Voice of actor, <laughs> just uh, bring it on. It'll be a busy year. I'm excited. Well, when can we expect uh, more episodes of The Good Night's Quest? Ooh, every single Friday. They'll be coming out on escapist.com. They're on the front page. Um, look, I think keep it up all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you just go to escapist.com, you'll see our A Good Night's Quest link right there. Um, so check it out. Um, but yeah, we have the first 12 episodes already shot. Um, and then get to work on the next 12 here, <laughs> probably next week, to be honest. I have to really kick that into gear. Um, but yeah, we have an interview tonight, clicker.com with the cast. Um, so promotion stuff is getting underway and it's, it's going to be a really fun series. Some really surprising and fun guest stars coming up and 
uh, if you're a web series fan or um, a video game fan or a comedy fan or a fan of anybody involved, I think you'll probably get a kick out of it. So the series will be around 24 episodes? Um, it is scheduled for 24 episodes um, for a complete story arc as if like, it's pretty much a feature film content, like hour and a half, two hours ish, um, broken up into these episodes. And then um, we're, we're toying with the idea of possibly doing more. So we're in talks. We'll see where that goes. Uh, but yeah, we have, it's, it's a big fun world with lots of room to play when you bring in the video game genre. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And then you could also, at the end of the, you know, filming, you could sell the whole thing together. <laughs> really? Well, I think it's already sold. It belongs to Escapist. Oh. Magazine, um, who, who are great and they really work, give you a lot of creative freedom. Uh, if you're a, a content creator for the web, check them out. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's fun stuff. And the web, like I said, it, it's a small community. So you end up doing, um, stuff, uh, with other shows that you network with. <laughs> um, so you'll see some of us across, across a couple different, what would you call those bandwidths? It's not channels. So I don't even know. <laughs> Network um, insights. Who knows? Yeah. And I just shot, I shot one called, uh, Hollywood wasteland, which, um, the trailer's out now for that. It's a post-apocalyptic fun show. Um, so, yeah, I think there, there could be some really cool web stuff happening shortly. Stay tuned. <laughs> you awesome. can follow us on, uh, on Facebook, on our fan page at A Good Night's Quest. Um, or we have Twitter at A, what is it? Twitter is GK Quest. Um, at GK Quest. Or right. me. I'm, I'm at Paula underscore Rhodes. That's uh, R H O D E S on Twitter. And sometimes I'm funny. Give it a whirl. <laughs> well, we'll make sure that all of our listeners go there and follow you and all that fun stuff. And in conjunction, I was wondering, do you guys plan to go on to any maybe video game conventions or anything like that to sort of promote the web series? Yeah, we're actually in talks with Escapist now to do some really fun marketing. They're bringing someone else on to, um, to really help drive us uh, with that. They invited us up to um, GDC to kind of party and and play with the press up there uh but but the guys were down and half of our team was down in south by southwest that week and i ended up having an audition that day so i couldn't go up to san francisco for it but we're definitely going to do some of that in the future so if you're you're a gaming fan and you go to the conventions you you'll probably see us something and you'll probably update your facebook and all that good stuff when you find out right Indeed, totally. We keep people pretty well posted on that, especially when any of the actors have something on. I think uh, Ben Kane has an episode of Lost coming up. Uh, Charlie Bowden just had an episode of 24 air, and he's shot one for In Plain Sight this week. Um, Kathy Barron sells some really awesome steampunk jewelry on Etsy, so we have links to that. I mean, it's neat because you really get to see kind of behind the scenes the cast and um, what we're up to. All right, that's cool. I mean, it'll be nice to see you guys interacting with the fans and all that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, we love that, and that's a really unique part of this medium, too, is that you, you're you not only get to, but you're also, you know, sort of required to in some instances, uh, which is can be a really wonderful thing to interact with viewers and fans and get their feedback. Um, granted, if they don't like you, they will be incredibly harsh, but um, you grow a thick skin, and for the most part, their responses have been overwhelmingly positive and really wonderful so um so that's been great and what's great is if you go to a convention you already have a costume and everything <laughs> totally oh my gosh i have so many costumes and I, I definitely um yeah i have some friends that really helped out with that and hooked us up with some great pieces but man there were a few moments there where i was right i'm like okay video game characters i'll google what a video game vixen looks like don't do it people well i mean it, you can if you want but it's super like porn tastic as soon as you put that in i was like whoa kathy won't wear that oh not safe uh -oh. for work. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah. But I, I got to come up with like a whole look for the ogre. And um, yeah, it was, it was it's great. It's a whole creative exercise for the entire right side of my brain. And then the left side gets to work out with the producer side. So Cool, yeah. <laughs> and that just shows your talents. That means you can be the producer and you can be the actress and you can do this and you can do that. So that just shows you have a wide range of talents. I, I love it all, yeah. I mean, granted, some of the producing is selfishly done to provide roles for myself and friends, but um, but I do enjoy that work as well. So, yeah, well, bring it on. Part. Without your <laughs> friends, it's not fun. <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> and was there anything else you want to tell our listeners out there? Um, thank you guys for watching and for listening today. Awesome stuff. And before we let you leave, I was wondering if you'd be willing to participate in a 91.8 The Fan tradition. Oh, you know it. What is it? Awesome stuff. We well, were wondering if you could do a bump for us. 
Sure. How do I do it? <laughs> well, it's not painful, so you're a-okay. <laughs> we were just wondering if you could say, we do this for the uh, live on air for the bloopers just in case, but we were wondering if you could say, my name is, I okay. do this, and you're tuned into 91.8 The Fan. Sure. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Paula Rhodes, and I play Adriana as well as produce A Good Night's Quest on Escapist.com, and you are listening to 91.8 The Fan. Perfect! Yay! There was no bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, voice acting, don't fail me now. <laughs> well, that just shows your skills. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and for everybody out there who miss this we'll be posting it up on the website over at 918thefan.com either later tonight or tomorrow morning so make sure to stay tuned <laughs>